All right, so Snow White 2024 has been getting a lot of criticism lately, not just because of the leaked photographs that were confirmed to be real a while ago by Disney of the Seven Dwarfs, which by the way are often referred to now as the Seven Magical Creatures apparently by Disney, but on top of that we have a lot of things going on with story changes and how it was originally meant to be a beat for beat style of the original 1937 movie by Disney specifically, and how that has drastically changed over time. That's not respecting the original and Disney's true legacy of where everything began. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into exactly what's going on with Snow White 2024. Now we know that Bob Iger is dealing with a lot of issues at hand related to the backlash and the rising numbers of people that grew up with this movie back in 37 and have witnessed the several iterations of Snow White over the past couple of decades, mind you. And this by far, I believe, is going to be the worst reimagining, if you want to call it that, by Disney because it is a reimagining. This is nowhere near the original 1937 movie by Disney and they really did change up quite a bit for this film based on all of the developments behind closed doors. However, on top of this, given that Rachel Zegler and Gal, who plays the evil queen by the way, are dealing with a lot of issues by a lot of members of the general public that are really speaking out. Uh, people, of course, such as Jason Acuna has actually spoken against Disney about the problems of really taking jobs away from people with dwarfism. And that really is a very terrible thing by Disney, let's just say that. But anyways, right now Bob Iger is dealing with both the Indy 5 box office collapse and the Snow White backlash after the leaked photographs surfaced of the Seven Dwarfs, if you even want to call them that. One significant development happening right now with Snow White 2024 is that Disney recently approved to cancel a major scene from the movie as they are on a course to re-editing the film after their second emergency meeting for the Snow White film and how to handle the backlash. Part of this emergency meeting has to do with cutting out roughly 30% of the scenes focusing on the seven dwarfs surrounding Snow White as she is in a deep sleep. Disney does have backup footage of what they shot back in 2022 during the summer that they are planning to use to insert into the film as a replacement. As part of the meeting, Disney is on a course to also canceling a major scene consisting of the poisonous apple sequence, which is very iconic, between Gal and Rachel Zegler. Disney felt that the scene was too extreme for a younger audience to handle after carefully looking over the film after the recent backlash that they have received and part of this emergency plan and meeting is to take older takes, older takes and shots back from 2022 that were less extreme and less horrifying for this movie. So let me stop here quick before I get to the next big development about this is that you can't get rid of the poisonous apple scene. I don't know what Disney is thinking about by taking away how much of an impact it really has on the original and how much it really has an impact in pop culture and to everybody around the globe that has seen this movie. So basically what Disney wants to do is they want to dial back, take less extreme footage of the poisonous apple scene that they had shot back in May of 2022 and to throw that into the final cut. The one that they have right now apparently is too extreme for younger audiences. Can I just be clear here, how is that way too extreme if even the original 37 film, which by the way, in my opinion, you can't really beat that. That's a very iconic moment in Disney history. The fact that they are trying to make this a copy or a direct you know, representation of the original, and then they're changing the scenes, they're watering them down, or deleting specific moments altogether to kind of compensate for these characters that are an atrocity, by the way, that are not even seven dwarfs. They are, you know, essentially completely different reimagining, uh, a different reimagining of the original characters. They're nothing like what we have seen before in any of the animated films. And I think that at the end of the day, that's where Disney becomes very hypocritical. They claim that this movie is 
a literal accurate representation of the 37 film, but yet everything has changed. All right, we got no Prince Florian, you got a Jonathan, that's just his name by the way, it's not Prince Jonathan or anything like that, it's just flat out Jonathan, which really makes you wonder, is he even really a quote unquote prince in the traditional sense in this film? That's an open thing, you know, that a lot of fans are gonna begin to discuss. However, things begin to actually get worse. Let's, you know, go further here. Now, Iger and the board are also considering retitling this movie into something else besides just Snow White, as they are looking to give the film a subtle feeling to fit their, their retelling of the film to not mislead audiences. Originally, Disney did call the film Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs back in 2022. That was dropped once they changed the concept and the designs of the dwarfs during some reshoots back in 2022, which was very involved. The meeting between the board and Iger also pushed a plan to dial back on romance in this film between Snow White and Jonathan. Essentially, Disney is playing things extremely safe with the up-and-coming Snow White film, still slated for March of 24, after those leaked photographs surfaced. Many scenes are planned to be cut that are related to the 37 original that were reportedly too dark for kids through Disney's perspective. So much footage was shot back in 2022 that they hold many options to replace specific sequences entirely with altered, watered-down versions. So, basically, at the end of the day, when you look at it through this sense, all right, the fact that the board and Iger are holding these multiple meetings on how to handle the entire situation of Snow White 2024, let me just add here, there is nothing you can do to take away the backlash. As long as you got those seven dwarfs, which aren't even dwarfs in this movie, they are just... I don't even know what to call them, to be honest. Uh, I could come up with so many names right now, but let's just get things further here. The thing is, it's not just about those characters, it's also the miscasting of Snow White by Rachel Zegler, and you have basically another scenario here that's also a big problem, is that they are dialing back on a lot of the original aspects of the 37 original, and it's gonna be this weird take on Snow White. Now, at the end of the day, we know that Iger and the board did a very bad job, I believe. Disney in general did a terrible job on Little Mermaid 2023, to the point where, you know, if you have seen that Scuttlebutt song, I know I've said this many times before, but it just goes to show you how nonsensical they really are. They don't know what they're talking about. It's pure nonsense. Um, this is exactly what they plan to do with Snow White with some of the songs for the seven magical creatures, as they're calling them, to provide hip-hop songs and pop folk songs, stuff like that. And I think it's just going to be a nightmare for a lot of people to see and witness this movie in theaters. So anyway, guys, I would love to hear your take on what Disney is doing here. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys next time.